Hey everybody, it's a windy June 1, Thursday, 2023. We are once again back at Saramonte for the Daily City Farmers Market. We came here a couple of times last year. Let's walk around and see what's at the farmers market today. Everything looks so good, but prices have really gone up since last year. Let's try this one. Hi, 21st century. Hi, hard job. Then the buns, these are for you. More cherry. Peaches, nectarine, cherry. Here we go. Hi, BT. Hi, Frank McLeod. Hey, Fatty Lumpkin. our local farmers markets but I can get good quality fresh produce at many local stores so I don't know if I'll buy anything today. Yeah, yeah, in between Santa Cruz and Monterey. Oh, I don't think it's 
No, that, that's a little uh, farther, farther down. Okay, cool. I know this is called Ugly Shiitake. Yeah. Is that the name or are they just... Uh, we call them ugly because they're not like uniform or as like aesthetically pleasing as we like them. Right. So that's why we put the ugly label on it. Okay. Because of that. It's the same quality, so it's still very good and fresh, just not the prettiest. But same flavor, nothing wrong with it. Cool. Just aesthetics. Nice. I've never seen so many different kinds of uh, mushrooms in one place. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, I'm glad you came over. You ask, what's your favorite variety? My favorite variety? Yeah. Well, I really like the cordyceps when we have those. Those are real tasty. Uh, I would say lion's mane or black pearl. Those are my favorite. Really and lion's mane. I like lion's mane for the medicinal benefits of it. Good for your brain health. Um, brain health. Yeah. Good for helping prevent dementia and uh, short term, or helps with your short term memory. Um, What's the best way to cook those? Cook those. I like to do soup sometimes. It kind of soaks up that liquid and becomes kind of like a soup dumpling. Um, but you could also do a saute. I would like do a dry saute first just because um, it's, they're very moist and sponge-like, so if you add oil or butter too really quick, it gets kind of soggy. So I like to do that. Some people like to shred it up and form it into crab cakes and then fry it like that. Does it have a mild taste? Yeah, it takes on the flavor of whatever you cook it with, really. But on its own, it has kind of a shellfishy taste. Um, sometimes I do like a chicken nugget thing, too. <laughs> like a terra de flour, flour, egg wash, panko. And then, um, and then, yeah, I fry it up. You could either air fry it or uh, fry it up. I appreciate it. Are any of these good for eating raw? Raw, we, the only ones we really recommend to eat raw are the yellow ones. The yellows have kind of a cucumbery esque taste to it. Like a cucumber finish, I would say. I appreciate all the yeah, info. No problem. Thank you. This is Far West Bungie. Is that yeah. how I pronounce it? The Far West Fungi. Fungi. California mushrooms from Moss Landing. Forget it. And thank you, San Francisco Cynthia, SF Native, for the generous 9.99 super sticker. Appreciate you. Here's some more strawberries. There's many strawberry vendors out here. They do look good. They do look fresh. Rodriguez Farms from Monterey County. That's a plum and an apricot. Never seen that one before. Hi, Vincent Garzon. Hi, Feline V. Great to see you. Hey, Andy Dan. So these prices are not cheap. Not the cheapest, but um, you get good quality from these local farmers. green beans 
carrots, my favorite, or the purple ones. Gourmet pastry, discounted price for pastry. Spinach and feta, chicken, potato, lamb, apple, uh, plum, blueberry, carrot, farmer's cheese, puppy seed. Nobody gets gourmet pastry. Four dollars okay. each if you buy three. Four dollars each, each if you buy three. Okay. Or more. Three sure, more. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm looking around now. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, different kind of dips, hummus and others. And the chips over here. Mango passion. Yeah, fruit. it's mango, pineapple, and passion fruit. Okay, cool. Try it. Mango passion and mango pineapple and passion. Fruit. Mango pineapple and passion. That is really delicious. That one is a smoothie, but this one is a juice. What's this one? Dragon passion. Dragon fruit passion. Fruit. Dragon fruit passion fruit. All of them have no sugar added. Wow. You like ginger? I'll try ginger. Okay. Got it. This one is the ginger lemonade. That one is so refreshing. Ginger lemonade. Very refreshing indeed. Thank you. I'll try this guy. Okay. It's I'm the trying most the blue one. Power lemonade. Power lemonade? Power lemonade. What's inside? Blue spirulina. Blue spirulina. Yeah, it gives you energy. It what? It gives you energy. It gives you energy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank That's you. delicious. My favorite is mango. The mango one? Yeah, I'm gonna look around though some more. No worries. Thank, Thank you so you. much, my friend. Bye bye. What's the name of the fruit tree? The fruit tree. Alright. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Okay.
Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, we got a good deal. Got some. Zucchinis and carrots, two bucks. Hi. We'll take one more look before we go. Delicious, fresh tomatoes of all kinds. Persian cucumbers, peppers, different colors, red, yellow, orange. Very good. Inside the shopping mall, we'll go indoors for a bit and um, show you guys, do a little you guys inside. I'll try to catch up on comments as well. It's a little windy in here, so I'll go in there. Macy's here has sure seen better days. Let me start saying hello again. Hello, Feline B, Lynn LeBlanc, Daffic. BT, Karen M, great to see you Karen. Let us market you. Farmer Shady. Stop and um, pause for a bit. Let me know if there's a specific store you want me to go in. I can Go in uh, Macy's, for example, if you like. Otherwise, I, I'll probably skip it. Hey, Fatty Limpin. So this store has been here for decades. So oh, let's go look at the sporting goods. I mean, the team gear. Hi. Can I show these on my video? The clothes. Can I show these on my video? The clothing.
I turned off the mic for a bit because a lot of these stores are playing music. Um, V-Line B, they used to have a Radio Shack here. I think they've all closed, so, uh, but I'll go, I'll go check anyway. Anna V. Hey Anna V, happy belated birthday. I actually went and saw the sea lions on your birthday. There were a lot of them out there. Oh, do you guys remember Mrs. Fields cookies? Hi, I'm just taking a video. I used to love Mrs. Fields cookies back in the day. When I was a kid, Mrs. Fields cookies were about 50 cents each. And you could go at the end of the day and get free samples. Like half, half a cookie for free. Auntie Anne's pretzels. Oh, here's the food court. Reverend Tacos, I agree that cookies have become too pricey. It's maybe the biggest sporting goods store I've ever been in. I think it's two stories and it's huge. Back to the food court. They're good at natives, the chocolate chip, and macadamia nut cookies. I've heard good things about Jollibee from my friends in New York City and other places. Maybe I'll try them sometime. Yeah, 
Panda Express, always very popular. Tokyo Grill. Hawaiian barbecue. Manila Bay. Filipino food. Green leaf salad. Italian food, pizzas, and other things over here. Hey, it's Rocka Maya. Great to see you. How are you, Deflaka Maya? Hi, Relentless. Good to see you all. How are you doing, Relentless? In the other stores, there's um, Bath and Body Works, White Barn. I think they have fragrances and candles in there, and um, a few jewelry places on the other side. More jewelry. Another sporting clothing store over here. More jewelry. Uniqlo on this side, Victoria's Secret on this side. More sporting goods. Oh, hot topic. Target. I'm gonna show you actually one of my favorite stores that's hidden here at the back. Daiso, a Japanese store. Do you guys shop at uh, Daiso? Anyone else here? I'm gonna keep the gimbal low so that um, I don't wanna draw attention to myself inside Daiso.
So back here there's more stores. There's a Ross. Bye bye baby. And um cost plus world market. Alright. Daiso is going. So Daiso has a few things I like. For one thing, I don't see my, oh, here it is. J Street Coffee Shot, 150 milligrams of caffeine. This is great for a quick shot in the morning or before I live stream. I just need a couple sips and it's gonna give me enough a little bit of boost to wake me right up. I love these, um, so I can fit my um, iPhone mini in here. And there's bigger ones for the bigger phones. I, I prefer these over a case because it's easy to take in and out. But I can put it right in my wallet, uh, in my pocket, and it's gonna protect the phone. And here's where I get my gloves, actually. I don't see the ones I'm wearing today, but normally they're right over here. They're only about, you know, two or three bucks. But any of these will do. And you can just cut off the fingers, but these came like this with the fingers cut off. They have cards here. All kinds of pens and pencils and art supplies. Great place for arts and crafts. I'm gonna just not mute the music. Can't really avoid it, so I'll just let it go. Let's see. Um, Jeremy777, thank you so much. Um, Jeremy77 says, any good place to get some burgers? Um, yeah, there's actually a few burger places outside the mall. There's two in and outs very nearby. And I think there's another place, um, I think it's called Habit, Habit Burger Grill or something like that. I'd say go for, um, in and out if you want the less expensive option, good value for the money, or go to um, Habit Burger Grill for more options. They have um, all kinds of slippers here. Kitchen items, cleaning supplies. Storage supplies as well. Did someone mention beer? So they do have beers. 
but actually they're storage containers. Add your own beer or whatever you want to store in there. Hey, Mr. Terry. Some stuff for the kids. If you like pets, but you don't like the responsibility, get one of these. Okay, where should we go next? Jeremy says, are the pets real? Is that beer? Neither is real. Sorry to disappoint you. Okay, we're back in the mall. Let's see if there's anything else to see. Reverend Taco says I shop at Target because I'm poor. I shop at Target too. There, that's the target we saw earlier. So I guess the theme I'm seeing, oh, there's also a fountain here as well. There used to actually be koi fish in here. And a sunroof at the top. So the theme I notice here is a lot of jewelry stores, lots of shoe stores and sporting clothing, and lots of places to eat. That's Saramonte Center in a nutshell. <laughs> Jeremy says, are the stuffed pets at Dice are real? They are real stuffed animals. Reverend Tucker says, is there a GameStop? That's a good question. I haven't noticed one, but we're not done. Oh, here's a play area for kids. So if you're shopping, you can drop your kids off here. Come back later. Feline Fee says, Dollar General is for poor folks. I shop at um, Dollar Tree over here, which is now no longer only a dollar, but um, still a great place to shop.
as seen on TV. So all those infomercials you see on late night TV, you can buy that stuff here. Massage place. So this was formerly one of the anchor tenants. Maybe it was JC Penny, I'm not sure. So that's closed now. Hey, Kristen. There's an old Navy here. Um, is there a Spencer's? Spencer's, that rings a bell. What kind of store is that? I haven't seen one here. Let's check the map. The directory, I should say. Um, The map disappeared. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not noticing GameStop or Spencer's after it. Quick Here's an interesting matcha place. Matcha soft serve ice cream and cakes and desserts. Hey Max Ryder. We've got it. Beeline thesis. Spencer's has laundry at decent prices. Do a quick walk through Macy's. Many of the Macy's in the area have closed already. So let's get it on um, video before they're gone. I 
Okay, I think that's enough Macy's for me. I have um, flashbacks of being stuck in department stores for many hours as a kid while mom shopped by Macy's. We're back outside, nice sunny day here. The um, city for farmers market is just finishing up. We'll take one last look and then we can say goodbye. Hi, Latoya Williams. Thanks for coming in, Latoya, and thank you all. Yeah, that's Sarah Monte Center. All the people in there. One of the remaining ones, some of the malls are closing out here. everybody see you soon on another live stream put the camera on me thanks friends thank you for the generous donations um, San Francisco Cynthia Jeremy 777 sorry if, I hope I didn't miss any other ones great to see you all see you next time